Hi, I'm Danny Marty and I'm a game dev and a 3D artist as well. Uh, here I wanted to share with you a little trick that I do to achieve some like high detail uh, modeling like you can see in, in this helmet. So I'm gonna try to be fast but um, really to the point to show you how easily add all of this amount of, of detail. So I'm gonna use the same example here. I'm gonna go and uh, hide the this one, but uh, show you my low version here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this detail in one of those curves here. So once you know this technique, you can apply it over, over and over anywhere you, you need. So what I do is uh, I take, um, I go in edit mode, I um, take the edge that I want to use as a curve, so um, I select all of this edge that I want to use, and then uh, I duplicate, shift D to duplicate, then P to separate from the current uh, model, so now I have uh, my little edge here as a separate element and then what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna break this in two pieces because what I want to do it's uh, starting from this point I want the little detail to go from small to big to here and from here I want another uh, curve where the detail goes from big to small again uh, if anybody knows how to do it in one step, please uh, leave a comment, but um, this is the way I found out work for me. So once I have that, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is uh, go into edit mode again and then split again this, uh, this curve, I think, uh, well, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some cleanup here because we don't need all of that. We don't need all of these points here, so we can remove those vertices. Okay, so I think uh, I'm gonna do it from here. So maybe I'm gonna just separate this vertex with V, then select this one, separate again, and then Okay, so I'm gonna rename it just to be sure. I'm gonna say helmet curve 01 and then um, this one it's helmet curve 02. Okay, so another thing that we are gonna need. I mean, I'm using this um, geometry here. Let me show you. Just break it for a second, remove all the modifiers to show you. So another thing we are gonna need, it's uh, uh, some geometry that um, can be tiled. So in this, as you can see here, I only have one element. Let me, I'm gonna do, uh, 90. So as you can see here, this is just one little piece that it uh, using an array, I'm gonna be duplicating. So it looks like it's the whole thing. So you need some kind of geometry that uh, can work in this way. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, because I think it's like, uh, C has 5,000, probably we can um, to be more like, uh, how you say, like um, performant, we can um, add a um, um, decimate modifier. I always try to use the zero one. So we went from 5,000 to f uh, 500 almost. I mean, here you can you can go as low or as high as you want, just on until you feel like, oh, I'm not losing that much detail. So yeah, 
5.5 looks, we are half of it, it looks good. So, uh, going back to our edges here, this is geometry, so right now we cannot use it as a curve, we have to convert it as a curve. So, uh, we can go here to the menu of object and say convert to curve. Do the same for this one. We convert it to a curve. And then when I when I what I like to do is uh, add the pivot point to the start of the curve. So in this case, um, I want to start from here to here, and I will start from here to here. So what I like to do is I go to edit mode. I'm gonna select the first. Here again, we can do some cleanup. We don't really need all of those vertices there, and we could even like simplify the curve, but just to show the technique, I'm gonna go try to go s faster. Um, here, uh, what I do is um, we are gonna put the 3D cursor in that point, and from here, then we can set the origin to the 3D cursor. Same way here, we want to start from here, so uh, edit mode, changing the 3D cursor to this point, going to object mode, and set the origin to the 3D, 3D cursor. Okay, now I'm gonna be using this one, so I'm gonna duplicate it because we need two for each curve. So now, another thing I'd like to do, it's um, I like to put this element at the same um, location where the the curve starts. So I'm gonna try to select this always a little bit annoying to select. I'm gonna just uh, log that. See, no, it's easy. So um, an easy way to put an element in the same location than another element. It's you go to transform here, and then control or uh, right click and then say copy all to select it. So what we are doing is we are copying and pasting the location or the rotation or the scale or whatever you want from an, one element to another element. So now our our element, our object is in the same location than the curve. So now I, what I can do is um, I add an array and then uh, the first, the first uh, setting is the relative offset. So I think one, maybe one, it's not good. What we want is to reduce it in a way that it looks, um, it comes from the same. Let's see. Maybe five, five. No, so four five maybe. Yeah, four five looks good. And then we can add. Let's add some. As you can see, your your um, poly count it's gonna go high very fast. That's why it's good to when it's has a lot of detail to kind of decimate first. The second uh, uh, modifier that we need it's the curve. Then we are going to select the curve. If you cannot select it here, you can always do it on the outliner. And then here we are going to start seeing weird stuff. So the, the way to fix it sometimes is because we have to have the same orientation. So the same rotation for the element and the curve in this case, because I remove, I, I added some rotation. I think it's so now zero 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 it's in the same rotation than our curve so that's why it's following the curve we can keep we can keep um, adding so to this point because from here we are gonna have another one so as you can see it's following the curve but it's not really good aligned so how we fix that it's uh, we go to edit mode select all your all your uh, line or your, your curve and then we are we are going to tilt it a little bit so when you tilt it you can align it following 
the the shape of the element you want to do and now it's as you can see all of the elements are um, still in the same size so we need another array another array to not another array we need to uh, add another set into the array to modify the size of these elements so how to do how 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 do we do that um if we go to the array there is an option called object offset so what this setting does it creates an offset based on another element so i'm going to show you how to do that so what i do it's i add um, i add uh, an empty usually you can use any but i use this one because it's, i feel it's like and i usually um, i like to scale it down a little bit and then what i'm gonna do it's gonna apply the rotation while all transforms where you go item rotation scale I'm gonna apply the scale because we want one 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 and then i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna put this empty at the same location than our our curve copy all to select it and then i'm gonna select in our offs object offset our empty so now what i want to do is go from small to big so how do we do that it's we select our empty and change the scale because that's the offset that we want for each of our um, elements in the array as you can see it's going very big because we are adding a 10 percent in in each copy so what we can do it's actually um, scale it down not like that usually what i do it's um let me see that's yeah that's the right scale of, um go to edit mode and then we can do scale it down select all and then you have to do it as um medium point to scale all together let's scale it like i think like this object mode there you have it so here it's this these copies are too big and that's because we are adding too much offset so we can remove the offset make it smaller and then go back to our array add more copies so that's how we can add all of that detail you can use that for anything i'm gonna do this other curve just to show you but it's the same exact process so maybe i'm gonna speed it up so um this one copy to the location then we are gonna add um, we set the array that was I think 0 0.45 then we are gonna add um, the curve modifier and then remember to remove the rotation here we are gonna then 
probably to match this size um, I can make it a bit bigger then we are gonna tilt our curve I can select it we tilt it like this and here to match the, the position what we can do is just we can remove one of the vertices and try to move it a little bit then maybe take it like this well you you get it it's you can do something like this and that's supposed to be a little bit when you when you add the texture that's not going to be so noticeable so i think that's that can work for now so here we want the opposite instead of going from small to big we want to go from big to small but the process is the same i'm gonna add another um empty another empty I scale it down a little bit to not have those big lines uh, 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 apply the scale then I think the position is already correct but let's just uh, copy to be sure yeah it looks like then in our array uh, let's add more copies so you can see and then what I'm gonna do it's um, enable the not the constant the object offset we are gonna select our empty and then instead of uh, making it big we are gonna make it smaller so let's try 0 0.95 so we are reducing 5% um, per copy and as you can see it's already looking very good maybe 95 it's too much maybe we can do 7 90 yeah that looks a little bit better well maybe it's too much so let me see when we add more copies yeah that's gonna be too much i can reduce it a little bit um, so let's go to our empty and reduce it to maybe 65 65 and 65 yeah that looks much better then we can add more copies I mean you can adjust these numbers but yeah, that's how you can add easily more detail to your models. So I hope you find that uh, useful. I'm sorry if it went a little bit too long. I wanted uh, to make a shorter video, but I guess it was a little bit more longer than I expected. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of uh, content, please uh, subscribe and like the video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.